Welcome back to another video everyone. In this video, I want to address a couple really recent announcements we've gotten out of Six Flags. Real quick, I want to touch on Falcon's Flight, which was announced a few days back, and this is going to be the world's tallest, fastest, and longest roller coaster if it opens. Of course, Six Flags has tried many times in the recent years to open several parks overseas and they have all flopped. I'm basically with a lot of people on this Six Flags Cadilla Park. I'll believe it when I see it, especially when it comes to this coaster. Of course, the animation that was released for Falcon's Flight is just really bizarre, really ridiculous looking. Obviously, that's not going to be what the ride would really be like. And of course, this would be a massive, massive investment for anybody, let alone Six Flags, who buys rides such as 40 free spins and Raptors, you know, things that are lower investment. So this would be a really expensive ride. Of course, this isn't really going to be a quote unquote actual Six Flags park necessarily. It's going to be one of those deals where it would be basically managed by Six Flags. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this turns out. With Falcon's Flight, I'll believe it when I see it. Now onto something that is much more realistic looking and is pretty much definitely going to happen. We have the announcement of Jersey Devil Coaster for Six Flags Great Adventure in 2020. Now this is really exciting. This has been anticipated for a really long time. There's been a lot of speculation. And alas, the rumors of an RMC single rail coaster coming to Six Flags Great Adventure are now confirmed. There is an animation released of this, and in the animation, they do not detail the height or speed or how long this ride is going to be, but it is going to be the tallest, fastest, and longest single rail coaster in the world. It's going to have an 87 degree drop. Looking at this POV, it's not nearly as compact as the two Raptor clones that we currently have, of course being Railblazer and Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster. However, this looks like it's going to be another insane ride from RMC, loaded with tons of ejector airtime and some awesome inversions thrown in. It has a 0G stall and a 0G roll, lots of awesome looking airtime moments, some little like outward bank turns, and it just overall looks like it's going to be a really good ride. Now, this does have 12 cars per train rather than 8 like the other single rails, which is really good, so that right there helps to improve the capacity, which is definitely a concern with a park as big as this and also they will be able to run three trains on it as the animation does show a mid-course brake run so yes it has a mid-course brake run but that is definitely a good thing with this ride as it will really help to boost that capacity so as long as the operations are good on this ride then the capacity shouldn't be too bad the name isn't super creative but i don't think it's a bad name jersey devil coaster it's definitely unique I like it. I really like the fronts of the trains with that Jersey Devil theming. Those look really cool. And I think the logo looks amazing. I absolutely love the logo on this ride. Six Flags Great Adventure is one of the parks that is near the top of my bucket list to visit just because El Toro alone makes it worth the visit for me as that is my top bucket list coaster probably. And this definitely gives me much more reason to visit, and I would like to try to make it out to this park sometime next year. As long as this ride is going to be opening, this is going to be a fantastic addition for Six Flags Great Adventure, I think. It is a bit surprising how the layout of this is, as it's very much focused on airtime hills, and they have lots of coasters like that, you know. Some of their biggest coasters, Nitro, El Toro, those coasters focus on airtime, and this looks like it's also going to focus a lot on airtime. Of course, it does have some inversions thrown into it, and being an RMC single rail coaster, it's no doubt going to deliver. So I'm really looking forward to getting on Jersey Devil whenever it opens at Six Flags Great Adventure. There's been a lot of anticipation leading up to this, a lot of uncertain thoughts, and I'm certainly glad with the outcome of Jersey Devil. I was hoping we'd get something like this rather than like a premier launch coaster along the lines of West Coast Racers, which a lot of people were speculating. And I think that would have been a good option for this park, but I think Jersey Devil is really what Six Flags Great Adventure needed as they haven't had that big original standout coaster completely built from the ground up added since 2006 when they built El Toro. 
I'm really happy about this addition to Six Flags Great Adventure. Let me know what you guys think about Jersey Devil and Falcon's Flight in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe for more roller coaster and amusement park content. Like my page Coaster Daddy on Facebook and follow me at Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.